as the 2023 elections approach, there is visible tension countrywide. Enthusiasm has been replaced by taunt, jeers, and threats. The ethnic and religious issues that plague our country are full blast. Friends are not so friendly, and enemies are being made out of allies because of differences in political choices. This is not the first time we're witnessing these types of events. In 2015, anyone who did not support the candidacy of the APC, Muhammad Buhari, was labeled as unpatriotic, corrupt, and all sorts. They were demonized throughout the campaign cycle for the decision to support other candidates. Unfortunately for Nigeria and Nigerians, the victory did not bear fruit. Instead, the nation's economy, security, and corruption challenges, the three pillars of the Bori campaign, have yielded no results. In short, we can even say that the real patriots are those who stood against Bori. But does it have to be this way? Do we have to break each other's heads because of people we support politically? Most of the supporters are not even known to the candidates. They're like football fans fighting over players who do not even know they exist. Now, no matter what, who wins in the 2023 elections, good or bad, we will all reap the fruits so we can say we're in this together. My advice to supporters is to support their candidates peacefully during the election so we can have a peaceful outcome. As you interrogate the candidates of other political parties, also allow others to interrogate your own candidate. This election is not a war. In fact, I would even go further to suggest that we should also interrogate the intentions and actions of the political parties and candidates that we support. There is no desire or saint anywhere that is going to save Nigeria. We must save ourselves. God bless Nigeria. Wow, Kuti. <laughs> uh, that's quite thought-provoking. He has said it all. Election no be war in local parlance. Why must we always fight? Mm. You know, I was seeing something that you should do things, see things on issue-based campaign. I, I want to hear your thoughts. Exactly. About so, uh, for me, I think until Nigerian, Nigerians go to understand that our current uh, political uh, politicians are actually doing business. Exactly. So they pay people to get their votes. Because if vote don't count, they don't pay, they don't buy off. Right? And immediately they pay for that, irrespective of it, just like you are doing business. I don't I have a lot of market, I have a lot of people who want to buy. If I can pay the highest bid, I win them over. Once I do that, my own business is how to recoup that money. I'm done doing business with you for the next four years. So if you understand that this is the process, you don't expect dividends for a bargain you already concluded during the election day. You are saying that the, election, the politicians don't care. They are only concerned about their own It is business. Interest. Sure. Do okay. you understand? So until we change that narrative to understand that we should be ready to pay for the kind of government we want, and it should be, it should be just like you said. If I know that... I'll give you an example of communism in China. You see, uh, China wants to control a long bridge. It said every China citizen must contribute a minimum of $2. When you begin to do that, what it implies is, I have a share for every toll that they pay. I'm concerned. If anything happens to that uh, bridge, I will fight the government, right? Because I know my, I have contributed my own share to it. OK, Oluwa Shegu. Election and war, is it a war? Why are we all these apprehensive when it's time for election? What can we do about it? I think what the politicians have played on over the years is our docility. Uh, we tend to be docile as Nigerians, especially when it comes to politics. And I speak to the youth in this regard. Um, most of the time, we care less about what happens in party A or party B and then when we begin to see after the elections, the results of our docility, that's when we begin to become ag aggressive and then begin to blame those who voted here or voted there. Uh, so, and the 
aggression is uncalled for. What we need to do is to calm down, come to a round table as youth, take this decision that we need to be involved. And then getting involved is not for uh, an every, every four year affair, uh, because that is what we've been doing, and that is why the apprehension is out there. We need to get involved from day one. Even if our choice is not uh, elected this election period, we do not need to go and sit That's down true. again and wait to come back after four years and begin to, I mean, disturb mm -hmm. the whole atmosphere with our, our ranting and all of that. We need to get involved, join political parties, and then begin to grow our support from the basis. Because the politicians have seen that we don't get involved, and they play on that, and then every four, four years they come and they do all sorts of antics to ensure that they always uh, get what they want, and then we are back to uh, zero, and then begin to rant again. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. You were saying everybody should be intellectually focused and uh, responsible, who the government responsible. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oluwa Shegu is next. Stay with us.